I'm my cartoonist, manga, illustrator, and everything type artist friends. I am Chris Hart. I'm an author of many books on how to draw cartoons and manga, figure drawing, etc. Well, I have news. I got a new puppy. So you know what I have to do. I've got to draw it. So his name is Spencer. Spencer the dog. And he is a Welsh Springer Spaniel. And it's a pretty easy construction. I hope you'll draw Spencer with me. Look at that. Pretty easy. Not too complicated. He's got kind of a thin neck because he's very young. And I must tell you something about Spencer. Oh, well, by the way, we're going to go over it with this afterwards so it's nice and dark. So stick around. We're just going to sketch lightly and make our mistakes on the rough part. So, um, Spencer really, uh, uh, the problem with Spencer is he's merciless. He uses his cuteness as a weapon. And, uh, you know, he's almost like my daughter says, he's criminally cute, gets anything he wants, no mercy. What can I do? I mean, there's just nothing I can do. All right, so I'm, I'm putting the air right over him. Look how much, look how much material that covers. And if you'll notice that the, the nose and the eyeline are pretty much the same, snout, nose, eye line. So, big eye for a young dog. And not too small a nose, a lot of human characters, and other characters, maybe an elephant, etc., will have a small nose if they're a baby, but not dogs. It's actually fun to have a dog with, with a little bit of a big nose for its size. A nice, long smile and now this is just the basic outline so we're going to go in and bring that chin in and notice how much shorter the chin is than the snout it's because we open it as we open it it pulls back okay here we go and we'll just let a little bit of the tongue down a lot of people think beginners think if you bring the tongue out, oh, it's got to be huge, but that's not true. Just a little bit. It's fun. And the back of the mouth inside starts way back. That's all you need. Back here. All right. Another little tooth back there. Let's bring that eyebrow up high and flatten the back of the head. Give it a little bit of fur lining over there. Spencer. Spencer, stop. No, I want to eat my own dinner, Spencer. No. Okay, here you go. Here's the dinner, Spencer. Can I have a taste? No? Okay. Sorry, Spencer. All right. Let us get Spencer the way Spencer looks. All right. So here we go. Nice big pupil. Like so. You leave a shine in there. A nice long bold eyebrow for the Spencer and a small but really thick uh, crease for the cheek. Bring from the tip of the nose a continuously curving line right down to the back of the snout where it starts to angle up. A little bit of random markings there for the whiskers and make sure you leave enough forehead in front of the eye. You notice that line? It's not straight anymore. It curves out, then curves in. Can you see that? That's important. It's called a reverse curve. And they're very popular in animation. And they're pleasing to the audience because it's kind of like sliding down a line. And your eye follows it. A little indentation for the nostril. Not too much. Follow this down, flatten it out, cup it down here, a little cup, and then bring it out here to a line that kind of travels a little bit down. Now you can show the teeth, especially the bottom teeth, if they're rounded and small, otherwise it looks a little vicious. But avoid showing the top tooth because that, no matter how you draw it, is going to look a little menacing. And Spencer, he doesn't know how to be menacing. 
He cutes you to death. No, Spencer. Stop. I can't take it anymore. And he says, suffer. Okay. You notice something else? Even on a thin neck, it looks muscular. It looks thick because, you know, dogs basically are. Flat head, slightly rounder maybe. A little bit of hair up here. And a little bit of shag on this giant ear. A real floppy ear for the Spencer. All right. So there is that little guy, my little guy. So that is Spencer Dog. I know you want to draw your own dog too. I hope this gives you some ideas. Please subscribe. New videos every week. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.